I think the, the new machines give us an incredible uh, flexibility. Um, we've got multi-pallet machine just arrived, 10 pallets, which gives us a great chance for doing lights out uh, machining. Some of the bigger machines, some of the bigger Matsuras that we have here, also allow us to do much larger parts, some of which have a cycle time of six to eight hours. And again, we can, we can walk out at the end, of the end of the day and allow that to carry on running. Um, this, this just gives us far more flexibility than what we've had in the past. We've come to Boya Engineering here in Andover, and, and Bob, there's, there's a lot of engineering going on in this under this roof, isn't there? Yeah, certainly. Um, we have several divisions within the uh, within the company. Uh, we have a design department, which is designed in special purpose machines. Uh, we build and manufacture those and commission them here on site. We have uh, a calibration department for making calibration standards for crack detection, which is a micro notching uh, operation. We have instrumentation departments for, uh, we do many thermal and uh, pressure rakes and uh, they're fully instrumenta instrumented before they go out the door. And then on top of that, we have the make to print division, which is the main subcontract division uh, making parts for various different industries. Yeah, and here we are, you're making loads of different components um, from drawings and also internally for the stuff you've designed yourself. Yeah, most um, But historically, you've kind of worked with some very well-known aerospace customers. Um, tell us more about that. In the past, I think uh, Bowie has been known for work with uh, some of the larger aerospace companies. Uh, we don't tend to manufacture airborne parts. We're doing a lot of work on inspection equipment for checking turbine engines, for getting probes into intricate spots on, a, on an engine. And uh, we design manipulators to allow people to do that inspection work. And then we uh, commission that, that that, that equipment and it's shipped all over the world so that people can uh, do the checks on the engines. Todd, as the engineering manager here, watching Boya move from kind of a select few customers to a huge range of sectors, um, what challenges have you had to face um, meeting these meet new requirements? So for us, I mean, things like motorsport industry, they're always fast lead times. They want, want things accurate, they want things as soon as possible. Um, so we've had to rear and kind of look at that, make that right. And also the prototype work generally, there's a lot of stress, it's hard to work with prototype work and get that done quickly. Yeah, that's it. So for us, we've always been development, prototype work. Um, we still face that challenge of getting it done quickly. Um, there's still deadlines to meet and that's, that's what we're aiming for. Yep, and low volumes as well. But low volumes, so every month. that's it. So we do small batches, we're always doing one-offs, we're doing five offs, you know, we don't do big batches, but we still got to get things set and done quickly. Um, yeah, and what did that transformation look like? What changes did you need to make on the shop floor here at Boya to, to meet those new expectations? So to do that, that's when we started buying the Matsuras. We've had Matsuras now for about 10 years. Um, we've always had three axis machines and we've always programmed on the shop floor. Whereas now with complex five axis machining, we do a lot of offline programming upstairs. Um, and we've got highly skilled setter operators that now just focus on setting the machines, getting those small batches right and fast. And how important was automation to Boya Engineering before this transformation? And how important is it now? Previously, automation's never been a massive priority for us. Like I said, we've always had a programmer at the machine, just getting things right. For us now, automation and running things lights out. Um, that's what we need to do to achieve lead times, offline programming, trusting the cam, getting things run unmanned. Um, we focus a lot on setups during the day, running at night. That is our main thing to get all of our Matsuros as unmanned as possible. We are now able to offer complex, fully five axis machine components on a fast lead time um, and accurate. And also what about in terms of the cost? Normally that would cost a hell of a lot to make those kinds of parts. Long setups and many ops are, are risky. You, know, you can get small parts on a three axis machine that'll take five or six operations, and the last thing you want is a, a human error on the five, fifth or sixth op. Matsuras allow us to do all of that in one or two ops, massively accurate, highly reliable, and you're minimizing, minimizing the error um, and the amount of time spent should there be a mistake. 
we've got newer people in, we've got other people involved, some, some very clever people that are involved in our machine shop now. We've bought some very good equipment, uh, high-end equipment, which allows us to, uh, to, to, to do the work that we're, that we're being uh, given. So um, all round we've had to become more precise in what we're doing. Our inspection equipment is better equipped for uh, checking these parts and we, we put the product out the door in very high, to a very high standard. Um, the new equipment allows us to be consistent with some of the, some of the work that we do. Um, and obviously it's very efficient, it's very precise and uh, some of the newer equipment we've got now we've moved towards lights out machining which allows us to be very efficient in the way we do things and improve our delivery times which is most important to some of our motorsport customers. Brilliant, and as a sales director, um, what, what do you need to know that your machine shop can, can provide and is capable of so you can make sure those customers are happy? It really revolves around Precision, efficiency, um, the areas that we're moving into, delivery is most important. So on-time delivery is, is a major factor. Um, the machines can be consistent with the, with the product. So we're putting more into the machine rather than into the operator. In the past, maybe we've had one operator per machine. Now we rely a lot on the engineering ability of the people who are setting the machines and programming the machines and then the machines will start doing the work for you.